We are now in the playoffs and we have Apprentice Unleashed against Tilted Gaming in our first winner bracket quarterfinal. It should be a very good match. We have Kelvin on the Dragon Knight, Gecko Gummy on Blissey, Servos on Hooper, Xati on Serena, Klaus on Lucario, Zas on Hooper, Yuta on Greninja, Dana on Blissey. And we also have Azure on Eevee or Sylveon and Hirai on Lucario. It's gonna be our first winner bracket quarterfinal match. Best of three as well. As always. Yes, I'm uploading all these games to YouTube, yes. All of them will be uploaded. Everything in game I cast will be on my YouTube channel. Yes. Santi again on the Serena as well, on the bot side. Big speeding through, it's gonna try and score. Can they stop it? No, they can't. Xanti, six points, or just a few two little points to make an impact there and to stop it. Gets his first attack by Sex, looking for this as well now. With the Razor Leaf, maybe? And he snipes it away, Xanti actually getting it. Nicely done, Barry gets stone as well, keeping Kikugami alive. And that's very good for the Sarina in this early game to get away with this. Yuta with an early game on top, but Klaus is able to get it. But Klaus will probably die here. The boost out attack, one more attack, and he goes down. First blood for Tete Gaming on top side. I think Klaus doesn't mind it too much. He still gets those attack rate stacks in. But uh, that's a very good experience for Yuta. Who didn't do the red buff. He actually has the blue buff into top ganking. Arthur's gonna take the red buff for himself now. And we have a top A 2v2. Kevin Klaus against Hirai and Yuta. But Hirai all with the extreme speed and Klaus doesn't have it, but he snipes away the big boot with the Meteor Mesh. Good secure by Klaus. It's a bit far a bit of an experience. Goes in for the E-Speed as well. So both of Karius in this match, they're playing E-Speed. We don't see a power punch. There's some fights over these middle corp fishes happening. Santi looking again. Almost have the stomp unlocked now. Goes in and picks up this corp fish. Gets him to level 5. Kekugami has to be super careful. The hyper was almost able to take him down. No Serena, Xanti under attack, but should be totally fine. And he's just staying in the brush there. Walks towards Botsai, has to be careful, I think he's kind of overextending him straight camber now. Has to use his egg speed to get away. Tiny big greedy. And Klaus might die! Klaus gets out, another kill for Yuta on top side. And he's gonna get a 30 score in. Oh, this is so huge for Yuta. Gets him instinct to level 7. Hira is gonna also stack his attack rate. He's gonna reset. And maybe trade for Shange to respawn. Kelvin looking for his level 8. Drang dancing in, looking for the Odino, they can't get it. Still looking for his level 7, looking for his level 8. Dan is gonna take the hyperspace portal. Barely makes it out. Again, Hooper coming in clutch. Gekugami might die, Dana! Killing the other Blissey. Tilted Gaming having great early games so far. This time around. Kelvin Drang dancing all over the place. Next piece, 1 in 10 seconds with a double. Double stun on the paralyzed, boosted out attack. But Yuta's on his way to level, level 9 quite quite easily here. If he takes all these beasts on top side, Klaus has to pull a miracle here. He has to be careful. There's a, Okay, there's Yuta. The beasts disappear. The Apom is also there. 1 HP and Yuta just takes it. This Apom is gonna also almost get him to level 9. He's gonna get hyperspace to bot lane any second. He's gonna take this Corpus as well. And uh, he's gonna ding to level 9. I mean, Kelvin's still only level 7, but he's gonna get the Sardino. No, he gets sniped away! He was sniped away by the egg bomb. They have to be super careful now, but Klaus at least finding Kellen Hooper. There's the Grinja Unite. Yuta's going very, very deep. They find one KO. They find two KOs. And Titty Gaming having great so far. Klaus, can you do anything about this? The next surf is gonna probably kill him. There's the next surf. Xanti's well trying. And here she gets Yuta though. The surf healing, not enough. Xanti now living on one HP. Blissey Knight comes through into Arthur. And Xanti is also going to take taken down. He's going to faint. Dreadnought still alive, under half HP, and Kelvin finally hitting level 8 for the Dragon Knight Evolution. Can still make it here, they just have to buy time. The Strat is still full control maybe for the side of Unleashed. He's gonna build up a Strength Dance 6, the Hyper Beam is gonna come through any time now, there's the Hyper Beam, but no! It kinda whiffs, and it goes over to Tilted Gaming. Tilted Gaming is able- oh, the Unite move from Lucario flies through. It's gonna finish off Kelvin, Santi Mima in the backside is able to kill Yuta, his Unite move is getting cancelled by the safe card Blissey. And here's so Bannon for now, but Klaus also finding a kill on Hooper. This is all over the place right now, but Tilted Gaming pulling ahead so far. Tilted Gaming pulling ahead. <clears throat> a tiny bit. Huge already level 10. Klaus, oh my god, what are, what are the sound effects? So many ESP sound effects coming through. But Klaus is able to get the KO with the help of his teammates. Onto Hirai. 
Proton. Next target, dropping already under half HP. Sandy with the Grassy Glide going through, but the Double Storm misses and he goes for another Grassy Glide. Has to unite move now. It's under the goal. 143 scenario. Wanting a bit too much there. Grassy Glides in again. Can he find one more? No. Yuta's gonna unite with himself now. He's looking for these kills. Can he find a self reset? He's auto taking it. Kwame's dropping super low. And that's the first KO for Yuta. Hyperbeam comes through, but doesn't really hit anything. But Yuta gets crit by the auto take of Dragon Knight and gets taken down. Xandi with some nice boosted auto takes there. And some storms. And they're gonna kill this go back quite a lot. You wanna send it maybe to Lloyd? No, okay. Yeah, there we go. 36 over cap. And Unleashed with a nice team fight over this Rotom and top goal. Makes it back into this match. Nicely done by them. Nicely done. With a 40 point lead as well now. Not too much yet, I mean 50 point lead. Doesn't really say much. And Dread spawning in 20 seconds. And Grinita's not gonna have Unite Move for this Dreadnought fight. So it's gonna be very hard for Tete Gaming to fight over this. The Grinita without Unite Move in team fights has very low chances of having success. So maybe they're gonna look for. Yeah, they could maybe look to look for top lane push, but I mean they can always portal. And there's the Hooper portal being dropped. Klaus is still top side as well. They're going very aggressive right now. Kevin's gonna build up a strength and stack, so maybe start working on the Dreadnought. There we go. He's gonna start doing it for himself. But actually get stunned by the Hyperspace Fury has to drop super low. Has to use Unite Move to get a shield, and he's dropping super scroll on HP. Utah blink, eject butting in, but no, the auto attack goes on the wrong target, and he gets the Unite Move and gets taken down. Oh, what a nice try by Utah, but gets punished for it. Two KOs for his side of Unleashed. Looking for Blissey, now who's gonna get this dread? I have no idea who this dread. I think my OTT gaming. Blissey somehow gets this dread now. I don't know how, but he gets the dread now. Azura gets egg bombed. Next side, but he's gonna kill him. There we go. Wow, these team fights are crazy. Kira E speeding back out. Oh, that was so close of Yuta. That was so close. He was almost getting the reset there. That would have won in a team fight, but he kind of barely missed the serve and wasn't able to get the KO in the reset. And that cost this team quite a lot. Looking for a tier 2 push now, but they have to be careful. Another Winter Unite comes through. No, he doesn't have he has it this time around, unlike for the dread fight. And he just wants to zone away from this uh, from this goal. Baxanti like with the grassy glides is pressuring this Grinja so much. Treasuring him so much, they can't do anything with it. But it was still fine to unite move there. Was the last time he probably could have done it, so. Nice try to at least maybe do something still. You're just gonna pick up his buffs again on his way to level 14. Kira hitting level 30 now. Has a half level lead still over Klaus. Has the bone rush plus activated. And Klaus does able to steer away the big B. But has to abandon for now. Has to abandon. Outside, like Sunny's very deep right here. Kira is diving, backline, but Servas gets to the cyberspace portal. Goes back to full HP and to safety. Pretty low point game so far. 122 points to 98 points. So still very, very close. 30 seconds for Zeptos. And both teams really want to break this bot goal right now. If there's some more can. I don't know who I favor in a teamfight. Serena's very strong in teamfights, but the Greninja is very scary. He's level 14. He has a Blissey. So Utah can for sure carry this late game team fight if he wants to. If he has a good game or a good team fight. There's a very early smoke screen. I'm not sure if I like that. It's quite on cooldown now, but I mean it should be back up anytime soon. Event, Drain dancing forward, but he doesn't know Utah's in this brush, gets auto tagged. Or he dropped to under half HP, the hyper hyper voice comes through as well. But he's gonna take the hyperspace portal, goes back to full HP. And all this poke is negated. Kelvin Drake dancing in again. Xanti jumping very deep. Seven already having Unite move. Drake Knight also landing there with Kelvin. Both teams just uh, not no one pulling the trigger fully yet. There's some Unite moves, but Seven using Unite moves quite huge. Oh, Yuta finds the kill on Kekugami somehow. Kekugami completely underestimating how tanky he is there, and he drops to Yuta. Zas also on one HP has his super unbound there just to live. Has this buddy berry saving him, and Klaus gets taken down. Two KOs for the self titty gaming so far. We also had Lucario scoring top side, which puts them into the lead. There's the Grinja Unite, but they actually misses Kanti. Can Santi find some KOs? It's all up to Santi now, but I don't think he can. No, Savion barely lives. Santi goes down, and Tupa also goes down. Kekugami and Kelvin. There's some of to do pull, pull a miracle right here. And some, but Kekugami says Unite move up. Kevin's building up a strength dance stacks. Kekugami has to unite with him. Can he even make it to Zeptos though? Hyperion comes through and they don't get it. Goes up to Tilted Gaming. Kira is able to pick it up. That was so close. And Tilted Gaming. Tilted Gaming will take game one. Over Unleashed. Well played by them. 
they're going to score, so it should be enough. Wow. Game number two, Titty Gaming. Could upset Unleashed here. That would be quite the huge upset if Unleashed, one of the favorites to make it into the grand final. Currently down 1 0 to Titty Gaming. Let's see if they can have a better game in game two. Titty Gaming had very good early game last game around. Very, very strong early game. I think Klaus has to play a bit. Klaus last game got Yuta pretty far ahead, so he has to be a bit more careful maybe this time around. And not die to an early Greninja gank. That would be very important. Let's see how Yuta maybe does this early game jungling. The bots like Sunday are very aggressive. They're just gonna go for some scores. Gekugami should be able to get away. No, Gekugami is actually gonna get first blooded. But they do get the scores in, so I think it's totally fine. But Xanti running back in! And he... 180s the Razor Leaf. And he gets taken down. Complete disaster on bot side for, for Unleashed already. And Yuta top side. It's already pushing Klaus again. Two go down for Unleashed. Dana trying to score, but... Can't quite do it. Azra looking for this on Dino, and he gets it. Gets the 4 7 evolution, it's gonna be super, super difficult for bot side. It's gonna be super, super difficult for the bot side of Unleashed. Does Klaus hit level 5? No, Klaus hasn't hit level 5, but Hira is level 5 already. Hira is level 5. Goes in with the E speed. Vito measures the thing back in, but I think actually it went over to Kelvin, the big D. Not quite sure if it did. Klaus now. Can he find this time Utah? Yes, nice. There we go. Klaus with a super nice kill. And Kelvin also kills Irai. The top set of Unleashed this time winning around. Getting two KOs for themselves. Klaus stacking his attack bait. Azra rotating around. Can he find a kill on Kelvin? Kelvin against Azra. Next Hyper Voice is gonna kill Kelvin. No, he gets away with the Drink Dance on 1 HP. The Corpfish. Oh my god, the Corpfish almost finishing him off. <laughs> the Corpfish almost getting the KO. I never seen someone die to a corpus, I think. That was so, so close. Gets activated there. Oh, man. Santi jumping on bot side. Oh, yeah, true. Apprentice is bad wrong. You're right. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... True. Apprentice. There we go. Now it's correct, right? Another thing is kind of... Okay. I was very, very close. Cave in this time. It's going to be level 8, unlike last game. And Yuta's not going to be level 9. I don't think there's any chance unless Unleashed dies top died to Yuta. Yuta will not be level 9, so... This first red fight is going to be a huge favor for the side of Unleashed. With the level 8 Dragon Knight. He pretty much needs one small B and he's going to be level 8. Is so he actually going to rotate towards bot side now? He's going to take the Corpus, there we go, and there's the Dragon Knight. Very, very scary. Yuta only level 7, not even level... Not even close to level 8 yet. Kevin's going super, super deep, though. has to be careful. Hyperboy is doing a lot of damage to him. Hira is stealing the bees and he is speeding over the place. Can Xanti? No, it actually goes over to Kelvin. They kill it. Yuta blinking forward. Kelvin has to be careful. But has another Drain Dance across the wall. I have to make towards bot side now. There's the hyperspace portal. They're going to take it. And the Stratno should be in huge favor for Unleashed. Kelvin is gonna. Not, doesn't even need level 9. It's gonna bit up his Drain Dance. This time just needs a better, better Hyper Beam. And Yuta's already dead. Xanti stomps all over him. Greninja's down already for the side of Twitter Gaming. That's their main carry. I mean, they still have a Hyper Boy Sylveon, but it's not really a main carry. Kevin jumping forward, and they're just gonna murder them. This he goes down, Lucario goes down, Sylveon goes down. Hyper Beam is gonna kill Dread now. An ace! They KO all five of Twitter Gaming. They're also going to score 30 go in. Okay, let's go some more points. There we go, 23. And uh, they're gonna push towards the next base, maybe two. There's no Unite yet on the side of them still. Yuta's still missing level 9 too. Kevin just gonna he's just gonna score 40 now. Gets it up in the last second. Sunny with the Unite move now. Onto the Lucario. Can they find some KOs? It's Yuta. They have to be careful. Yuta's level 9. And they find a kill on Klaus. Saving also Unite moving now, but they go to the space portal. The hyperspace portal denying the engage. Guys, you have to be very careful where you put your hyperspace portals. Saving with the Unite literally jumping right into it. And they all get sent back to base. And, uh, yeah, the engage gets denied by their own Hooper. That is always quite rough. Hira in top lane jumping very, very deep. Yuta doesn't have Unite move now. Rotom is also. Rotom dropping in a half HP. And Klaus is jumping in. Doesn't doesn't hesitate. They're just waiting for Kevin right now to rotate. Has one Drang Dance sticks. It's gonna get the second Drang Dance stick. And the Hyper Beam comes through. There we go. Rotom is picked up by Unleashed. 
quite quite easily. And if this goes in, it's gonna be a huge overcap they can do. They can do a huge overcap, Rotom goes in. And I think, yeah, Cave is gonna take the score. 30 over points for the side of Unleashed. Sunday's gonna start invading so Dinos now. Has to be a bit careful though. But again, Serena has low mobility, so Serena can be always quite aggressive with all these glassy glides. 30 seconds for the next Dreadnought to spawn. This time around, Tilted should have all their Unite moves up. They should have all their Unite moves up quite, quite easily. You are looking for level 12. Just get more stats. Gotta make sure he gets those Surf resets right. And Anish is still looking for a push on top side. I mean, they have a Hooper right again. They can be on top side right because they have a Hooper. But Xanti, Unite moving onto Yuta, just forcing an early fight. And they can they KO him. Yuta goes down, Serena just completely murdering him. Now this stretch should be an easy take for the side of Anish. Hyper Beam comes through, but he's waiting back too long. Okay, they get it. This Unite was a try as well for the side of Tilted Gaming, but Dana dies before his Unite move comes off. And Red O goes over to Unleashed. Looking very good in this game now. Level 12, level 10 across the board. Very nice engage by, by um, Serena there on Xanti. The next backdrop should be able to kick Ranger there. They still have Unite move now. They want to kill this goal. And is he going to Unite move? There we go. There's a window to Unite. He's jumping very, very deep. This guy also flies onto him into the backline. Savage just has to try and live, but he runs back into his team. The goal is down. This could be a huge disaster for Serena Unleashed. If they find Kevin as well, yes, Kevin goes down. And I think Gekugami is going to get dove. But Xanti's here now. Xanti's barely to, the, to just stop this push from happening. I don't know if he has Unite move up. Okay. They will take the hyperspace portal back to base. And just be safe. They just be safe. Rotom has spawned. Rotom has spawned. And Alicia is just gonna pick this one up, building up the Dragon Den stacks. Hyper Beam comes through. And another objective for Unleashed in this match. Easy offensive for Tete Gaming. I mean, no team ever tries to push in the second Rotom this late into the game. It's just a death trap, right? You're kind of just literally wanting to die if you try to push a second, like a Rotom in at this point in the game, one minute before Zapdos. It just doesn't happen. The second goal gives you so much shielding as well, you usually can't teamfight onto it. It's so, so difficult. Unless you have like a Stalex who has a block or something, you can block people away. It's pretty much impossible. Loot on top side. Sneaking around. Can I at least know, they're just defending their goods right now. There's one more dread spawning that they could go for. But uh, it looks like Tilly Gaming is going for it. Yep, Tilly Gaming is actually going for it. Kevin is on top side, so I feel like that's kind of mispositioned, baby, right now. There's still been a free dread now for the side of Unleashed. A Klaus is lurking. Can he find the E-Speed? And he does! Klaus! Steals away. The dread now with his E-Speed. Perfectly timed. Nicely done by him. And Zeptos has spawned. Zeptos has spawned. Kevin trying to build up the Dragon Dance decks. What's level is Yuta? Yuta's level 14. Yuta is level 14, so... Could be a teamfight. I think in teamfights, I do favor Tilted Gaming a slightly bit, but this arena is super, super scary. If Serena gets onto Greninja, Tilted Gaming could lose very, very fast. We won a 10 point lead, so. Tilted Gaming stays to do something. And Xanti is gonna maybe triple stomp? No, can't quite triple stomp, but Sylvian yeah, is already forced. I know they're going super, super deep. Hyper Beam comes through. Yuta's chunk to under half HP. Gazing it with Hyperspace Port has to use Smoke Screen. This could be maybe the engage angle for Unleashed. But no, they're gonna chill for now. Actually, there is! Klaus is super deep on the backside. Klaus gets the Unite move by Kikugami as well. Can the Shield save him? Yuta's really looking for this reset right now. Has to jump in right now, but couldn't find a reset yet. But Klaus goes down. That's 1 0 so far. Tilted Gaming in a 5v4 scenario. They're gonna start attacking Zapdos. I think Yuta's just life stealing. Getting some HP back. Is porting towards the Unbound on bot side. Is gonna heal up on the berries, uh, on the on the EVs. And Kevin finds a kill on Sylveon. But oh my god, they're so low on HP. Kevin does get taken down. Sylveon and Hooper also down. Xanti on the backline just cleaning everyone up. And Yuta through the egg bombs. Gekugami. Can he get the kill? This would be a huge kill. The focus band. The B. Oh my god, Gekugami lives on 1 HP. And Yuta so gets away. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have 30, 35 seconds left. Anish is still ahead. Or Prentice Anish is still ahead right now. He rides back. Santi as well. He's jumping in very deep. Onto Hooper. And Zapdos is going to be start being attacked. 
But somebody on the back line with the double storm. He's gonna kill Utah. We didn't just that. But no, Codes comes from Deceptors. And Kevin is back with the hyper beam. No! It goes into Tilted Gaming. Tilted Gaming, someone gets Deceptors. But is it enough? I don't think it's enough, right? They eat 100 points. And Xanthi's gonna score anyways. Oh my god. What a close finish, though. With 100 points, count as well. <laughs> what an insane last two minutes in this match. And at least he's gonna tie the series. One to one. One to one. Game number three in his quarterfinal. No changes in team comps. Both teams playing their same team comps. Again. Again and again and again. Yuta sticking to the Greninja. Kevin to the Dragon Knight. Some very, very close series so far. Tilted Gaming is game unleashed and run for their money, for sure. This could go either way. This could go either way. Let's see if uh, this time bot like the last last time or like at least bot lane is having issues so far. The least bot lane is not looking great in these games, so if they get their things together. Then it should be fine. And this time they're playing it safer. They're screwing for their side Odinos, so they're already adapting to it, what they did last game. And they're not doing the same as Psycho again. And it's gonna try to secure their Dinos. Dana jumping in though, but I think I think Dana got it. Maybe just see this Odino way and Xanti now. With the X speed running in. This Odino is also still up. This Odino is still up. What the grabs? Xanti's putting this over and he gets this Odino. Gets level 4. This time much better early game. For the side of... And actually they got first blood, right? Yeah, he already went down on top side. First blood for Unleashed. Dana secure another Odino, getting level 4, evolving to Blissey. And this time, Hira gets caught off, but Hira hits level 5 and Klaus is not level 5. They have to be careful, the e comes through. And the speeds get absolutely deleted. Klaus has to still be careful, Kevin too. His trip are slowed right now, but I think they're fine. Klaus now, with his ninth e-speeds, can they find... No, he gets taken down! Utah picks off this KO in the 2v2 scenario. That's a huge kill for Utah. Again, he needs experience to get to level 9. And that's a huge, huge kill. He's gonna go back to his own jungle now. Nicely done. And Azri is invading. Oh my god, if Kevin loses this buff, this complete disaster. And he does lose this buff. He's gonna start chasing now, Azra, but has to be careful. Azra has focus bands. That's a huge steal. That is a huge Kevin now, almost two levels behind. After Utah gets this buff, he's gonna get to level 7. And Kevin is only le just level 6 now. Only level 6 to level 7 in Greninja. Nice deal. Nice invade. And Titty Gaming having good early game as well again. Having great, very good early game again. 30 seconds for the next beast to spawn. While both teams are waiting now, there's pretty much nothing up except for this one Corpfish. So. Just having a staring contest. Utah's on top side, it's gonna be another 2v2, but they're not gonna win this. They have to be super, super careful, they're not going too deep. Utah should be much, much ahead right now. Already hitting level 8. And Kelvin. Not even level 7 yet. Can he get to this Corpfish at least? No, he can't. Utah's also picking this one up, getting even closer to level to this. But there's four top side now for the side of Unleashed. They just want something here. But they can't, they actually all lose this still. They lose a lot of HP in this 3v4 scenario. The Storm is able to get this Apom at least. Utah's gonna go back to his jungle, it's gonna get level 9. And uh, Kelvin is gonna get level 8 as well after this blue buff. But Greninja might just completely wipe this teamfight. He has Unite move up. So Apprentice Unleashed has to be super super careful about this teamfight and how they approach it. They can't lose too much HP, one reset might just be the end for this teamfight. And they already zoned super super hard out. Kevin, maybe he has to build up a string dance sex a bit. And Sylveon is super deep. This could be the mistake. Sylveon is super, super deep. But now Grinja then yeah, onto Kevin. There's a surf reset. He finds the first KO. Hooper goes down on the other side. It's a one for one so far. So still fine for both teams. Klaus buying a lot of time as well. And Utah dropping down HP. But there's a Blissey Knight that goes off the left side. Servas with the Phantom Force gets Dread now. That keeps unleashed in the game for now. Would have been otherwise probably complete disaster. And Klaus now in the back line. Gekugami slaps Hirai all over the face. Egg bombs as well come through, others are also going to die. If they could, they could maybe donate this kill over to someone else. There we go. KOs, whoever gets the last hit on a KO gets much more experience. So much better on Dragonite or Lucario to give this over. Xanti going in with the Grassy Glide, finds the stomp as well, and Dana goes down. 
They're gonna score some points here. Yuta is too late to stop this from happening. And actually gonna kill this goal. Gonna finish it off. It's quite good against Super as well. Can't hyperspace port around anymore. And he is very, very deep right now. Gets egg bombed. Kelvin should be able to get this KO. Yes, he does. The other one get out by the hyperspace portal. Phantom Force. Nice play by Selvas, keeping his team there. Into the match. It would have been very, very close otherwise. Very, very close otherwise. Rotom is still full HP. Kevin just doing another jungle rotation. Both buffs are up, so why not take them? Yuta is still highest level in the game with the level Greninja, so doesn't matter what, even though losing Dreadnought, Yuta is still absolutely massive. But doesn't have Unite Runner for this fight. Serena could maybe Unite move, go for Unite move here. Has very low cooldown. Could be up for the next Dreadnought fight. Let's see how Xanti plays this. Is he gonna Grassy Glide in? He Grassy Glides in. And there's the nice stomp on Greninja. Yuta just disappears. There's the Unite move as well. He's gonna get a small heal after you land with Serena. You have to get a small uh, HP boost on a small heal. And there's three KOs for Apprentice Unleashed. They're gonna find a nice 20 over Kip as well. 40 on Foxanti is now 11 and a half in the Serena again. Getting insane value, insane stomp damage in. Better spawning in 15 seconds. Is us already going in position? It's gonna drop the hoop unbound pretty soon. Yuta will have Unite move up this time around. And uh, Prince Unleashed, they have to be careful, they should respect this Greninja. There's the portals are both being dropped, Kevin is already dropping to enough HP almost. Has to be careful. Saving Unite very aggressively, he's just jumping in. Dragon Knight Unite is flying in as well. There's the Blizzard Knight going onto Yuta, but the kind of miscommunication and he surfs back out. Has to be Jackpot back in now, finds a very nice Unite though, Kekugami is dropping super low, but the safe guys is able to keep him alive for now. Klaus is down, but two of this down on the self Tilted Gaming. Dreadnought is under half HP. This might just go over to the side of Tilted Gaming. Let's look how Unite! And yeah, look how Unite picks it up. But Xanti gets the kill on Yuta. As long as they get kills right here, it's totally fine. Here I... Does manage to kill Xanti off. Oh my. But Tilted Gaming is able to at least win Dreadnought. So experience is still quite close across the board. We have both Shangas level 12, both Lucari is level 11. We have Xanti level 12. Sylveon though is pretty far behind now. Only level 10 and a half. Compared to the Serena, who is level 12 and a half, so two entire levels down on the bot side damage roll. Otherwise, Blissey Hooper is both level 10 on both sides, so still very, very even. But Yuta is very scary again. Yuta, just always so high level. Always very high experience. Every single game on the school ninja. He again can decide this match if he has a good last team fight. Should be a free Rotom for Prince Unleashed. There's no way that Titty Gaming can contest this one. Klaus is gonna steal some of these away as well. There's look for level 13. There's one man to go on to, to get the Bone Rush plush, but the problem is they have no Adinos on their side. They have no Adinos, so you can't farm anything. Since both Goethe step for side of and Prince Unleashed, they have no additional Adinos on these sides. Quite, quite difficult to find experience. They only have Corpfishes. They have two Corpfishes and two buffs. That's all they have. And this one, this new tail Corpfish. Oh, it's quite interesting how there's a Corfish here, but this Odino despawns. Nothing is here, but something spawns here. Just, you know, quite interesting. They could also maybe add a Corfish here, right, in this location on Odino. Alright. 15 seconds for them just to spawn. I really can't tell who's gonna win this team fight. Hira is level 13. Looking for even level 14 right now, but Klaus, there we go. Klaus does hit level 13. They gave him the buffs. But against Serena is also only level 12. But have a bit more damage. And currently they're just zoning them out. Tater Gaming looking for bot side. Already smoke screening in quite early. Gekugami has to be careful. Has to X speed away. Goes into hyperspace portal. The egg bomb can't reach him. And that was slowly being attacked. Oh, Serena Unite also coming through. Already on Sylveon. But Sylveon does have Unite move up. I think that was quite early. Serena Unite there. Blissey flies onto Drang Knight. And Sasser. No, wait. Was it Yuta? Yuta already getting the first KO in the team fight. Gets a second KO. And I think Unleashed is gonna draw- yeah, 3k triple KO for Yuta! Make that a quadra kill! And Unleashed! Oh, there's the Santi. Can Santi summon do something? Gets locked up! No, he finds one KO. Is that a Penta, actually? It's a Penta KO for Yuta and Tilted Gaming. I mean, it's not over yet, but they're gonna score 400 points. It's gonna put them quite far into the lead. If they can. Yuta has to be careful right here. If he dies, that it could still get quite, quite close. And I think they're gonna kill him. Yes, they kill Yuta. 
One minute, one minute to make a last minute push. 31 minutes. Azura is actually still here though. Azura is gonna make it. He makes some HP, he doesn't make it. There's only 130 point difference. Yuta's down for 20 seconds. Azura's down for 20 seconds. They have one last push. They have to be faster, they have to be fast before they respawn. They're looking for the top side right here. They need one small score and a big score if they can. Santi might just score these points, I think. Oh my god, this could get very close. Blissey Unite, come, Blissey score comes through. They've just get kids right now. They're just trying to buy time for Grinder to respawn. If they can somehow. They're gonna start channeling Klaus. Klaus, Klaus gets it off! Klaus gets it off! And Unleash goes into the lead! They couldn't interrupt him! He scores! And it puts Unleash back into the lead! Unbelievable! Now they can just defend their base as well. They score 10 more points. 10 seconds left. And they actually manage. They actually managed to win this game. Unleash moves towards the semi-finals. What a crazy best of three against Tilted Gaming. Props to Tilted Gaming, they sent their ground. And it comes down to the last score of the match. Oh my god. Crazy. Ah, Utah there, kinda just not going for the score, cost them the game. And then also being dead for a long time. After having an insane team fight. Can't make it to the score point or to the goal point. And, and Prince Ali moves towards the semi finals. Moves on towards the semi finals.